Hi guys, it's a little bit after 11, so I'm copying on for our daily drawing. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I have my book in front of me. Um, I'm just giving everyone a few seconds. I've got to tag my people. Sorry guys. Um, I don't know why it always jumps for people. It's very annoying. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to draw a tree house today. So this tree house is just the bare bit, it's just the basics. Um, if you want to add fun things to your tree house, of course, go ahead and do so. Um, I hate when it won't try and tag a friend and it won't let me. No, she wants to be in. Um, I'm hoping I can get everyone on this at this time. I've been missing a few people. I'm trying not to, I swear. Um, um, but what we're going to do is look at um, kind of drawing it in perspective. So it's going to be in the tree, you're going to be able to stand on it. Um, so I'm going to try and get everyone else in here. If you're watching me, if you're here, go ahead and give me a quick hey so I'm not all by myself. Just rambling on. <laughs> um, if anyone has any requests, once again, I'm taking requests, guys. So if you have a kiddo at home who's like, to draw Elsa, let me know. Figure out how to draw Elsa. Hey, Richie, thanks for coming in. Um, but if you just guys let me know what you want, I can really customize it to you and your kiddo's needs, all right? Um, I'm trying to see who else I need to tag. I'm trying to tag my lovely friend Jess because the last few she hasn't been able to, and for some reason it hasn't been letting me tag her. It's very fr it's very frustrating, um, and it won't let me really scroll through people. I apologize that we're waiting. It's been about a few minutes. I might have to tag her after the fact. So Jess, if you watch the replay, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of you now. Okay. Um, so we're drawing a treehouse. Now I know yesterday it kind of snowed a little bit. I know some of us not be might not be able to go outside. Um, but we can plan ahead and build our, um, really fun fort. So think of it that way, is that we are going to be building a fort for later on. Maybe this is, is, um, your future fort, the fort that you are going to be, um, building once we're able to really go outside and have friends come over and really share with us, right? Dang, I'm getting some people. I'll take a minute. So... All right, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to go ahead and tilt it down. All right, so the first thing we're doing once again is we have our paper. I have a pencil again. And what I'm going to start is I'm actually going to start with the house. So I'm going to start drawing um, down in this area or up in this area. So I'm not going to draw right up to the top because I want to leave room for my tree. I kind of want to leave it right in the middle, okay? So that way... Hey, Kaden, I'm glad that you got on. So that way um, I'll have room to grow up my tree and I'll have room for stuff underneath my tree. So I'm going to start with a square. Now, I like to draw a square sometimes using a few small lines. This is to kind of help make sure that I have it in the box. So here's my square. This is where, um, think of this as your the first wall that you would see of your house. From there, I am going to make... A hold on, I'm just gonna hit a moment. The next step is actually very simple. Um alright, that's there we go. Okay, the next line we're gonna make is we're actually gonna make a really crooked line. So it's gonna come up this way. We'll do it this way, because that's how you'll be able to see it easier. So it's gonna be a little bent, so it's gonna come up. And up so I'm mimicking the same line so I know right now it looks a little bent right now it looks like a big square with letter I kind of attached to it so I'm bending that line and I'll notice how that line didn't go fast there's not one farther apart away than the other so they're both the same distance away from our square and then I'm going to close it up together so what we've actually just done is we made the second side to our treehouse. So you have side one, which was our square. When we put our two bent lines, our two diagonal lines, same distance, we got our other one. And from here, I'm going to draw a triangle. So 
This is going to be a little different. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my triangle kind of coming back. Okay. Actually. Sorry guys, doing this upside down is a little bit harder than I thought. So I'm going to draw, I just want to draw a straight up triangle. Better? Does that look more triangle-ish? Perfect. So I have my triangle going. And from this line, I'm going to send it all the way back to here. Okay? So I'm sending it back. And then I am going to use a diagonal line to connect these two. So I just started just short. But what we should have now is a house looking shape. This is probably the most complicated part that we just did. Okay? So if you're looking at your house, you're like, my house doesn't really look house-like. That's okay. We're going to get this through together. This is the hardest part. So if you want to go back and rewatch the first, like, three minutes and really kind of look at this shape, you totally can. Okay? From here, let's kind of build onto our house a little bit before we put it in the tree. Because right now we have a floating house. It's floating in space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. On the skinnier side, I'm going to go up, I'm going to follow that same line both ways, and I'm going to follow the shape of this line, that diagonal line, and close it. Add a little circle. What did we just make? We just made a door. So this is how we'd, be, we'd enter a treehouse. And then on this side, we can enter windows. Now, windows are just smaller squares. I mean, you could do a circle window, too. It's your playhouse. It's your... It's your treehouse. You can do whatever you want. So to do to make it look like the window panes, I am going to put um, kind of like the letter T in it. But I can do that by adding little squares inside. And then I have a T shape or I can just simply break it as a T. It's really up to you. All right. So let's make our platform now for our treehouse. We don't want to be floating off in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to take my treehouse, and I'm actually going to draw a line right here. So I'm going um, going a little bit farther underneath, so that way I can walk. So that's important. And I am going to go back. Actually, I went a little too far, guys. I'm sorry. Doing this upside down is definitely proving tricky. So if you're going to get as frustrated as I am, that's okay. I'm going to draw much closer to the house. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm drawing it closer to the house, and I am going to draw two little lines on either side. And from there, I'm going to draw another straight line. So now we just made our platform. So our platform is here, so we just got to go put it back into space. So I'm just going to kind of... Oh, I'll go make it long, larger. Well, I'm going to kind of bring it back so it touches the house. Okay. And kind of just fold it backwards. There we go. That's what I like. So it doesn't have to touch anything just yet. So we're going to put branches and stuff around it, okay? But from here, what we're going to do is now we're going to just kind of start playing around with our tree. So like I said, we already know we have some branches and stuff coming through, but we want to get our trunk in. So to do our trunk is we're just going to find our spots down here. So I'm kind of looking at the edges of where my house ended. And I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to flare it out towards the bottom of the page. They're not perfectly straight line, but that's okay. And now over with this area, right where we see where I kind of have these lines, I am going to kind of do a shaky line out from them. So now we can see like my treehouse is sitting in between some shapes. The quickest way to make branches, friends, is not to try to draw perfect V's. Because if you're trying to draw perfect V's, they look odd. They don't look right. So what I'm actually going to do is instead of drawing it from down here and drawing my V's going up, I'm going to draw my V's pointing in. And all I'm going to do is make them weird line V's. I'm going to make a few little ones. I'm always going to kind of point back down into here. And then I can make another one. Oh, maybe this one goes behind the house. So it stops right off the roof line. Here's a really big one. Continue it out. And I'll make another V here. Now, I don't have any V's still on these, and maybe I'll make a V here. So I can go behind. Once again, there's no leaves still. 
for the leaves, I'm going to use that popcorn shape. So we talked about popcorn shapes a little bit yesterday when we talked about uh, squirrels and rabbits' tails, but this is really important. So I'm actually going to start a little bit lower. I'm going to start towards where my base is. And I'm doing big, little, big, little, 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 big, 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 little, little. And I'm just going to curling it around. You don't have to go over everywhere. Now I'm just going to bang side. And then here I'm kind of doing it. So this is just to make my tree look really big and full. Because when we look at trees from outside, we don't necessarily see all of them. And I'm going to do another one kind of down in here. These are leaves. Maybe I don't see all the way and up here. Man, this looks like a giant playhouse. That's awesome. All right. So now I have a, my giant playhouse sitting in a tree, but let's make it really fun. Okay. I'm going to add a tiling to it and stairs. So if I'm going to add stairs, we'll start with the first way because we want to get into our house. So I'm going to draw two lines coming down from my platform. So this is going to be a rope, a rope one. So now I'm making these in a little rectangles. And I did that by adding little caps at the bottom and I brought it right back up. So the two little lines. Now I got to make my planks, how I'm going to climb up. So I'm going to draw two vertical lines, I mean towards horizontal lines across. So there's our first step or our last step to get into it. And I'll do that all the way. If you're looking at this and you're like, ooh, I'm a little bit confused which ones I'm stepping on, which ones I'm not, you can always color it in. Now I'm working with the pounce again. If you're working with the marker or crayon, you can always do that too. But I'm just kind of coloring it in a little bit. Okay, so now I can see which ones are there. Well, uh, I just must do a tire swing. And I know tire swings are really cool. As a kid, I always wanted one, and we did have a neighbor of mine have one. So I'm actually going to put it to the back of my tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my trunk, kind of just break it off. I'm going to slide it out. So see, there's two curved lines coming off of this. It's not a straight, it's a curve, okay? So I did that by following the line of my trunk, and then I kind of blended it out. I kind of swerved off. I didn't take a 90 degree turn. I took a yielding turn, okay? So I did it. It's more like a loop to loop or on a roller coaster versus like a straight bent in the tree. From there, I'm going to put up a circle at the end of my branch because that's, let's say we'll cut, we cut that off on accident. And if you want to make the circles inside the tree, show how old it is. You can always do that too by drawing circles going inward. So now I'm going to draw my tire swing. So to draw a tire swing, I'm going to draw a big, 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 big circle. Now I'm running on them here, so if you have a little bit of room, you can make your tree string a lot longer. I just have a little bit. Then I'm going to go and draw another circle. So this is like a little thinner tire swing. It's a little more old school. From there, I'm going to look at the top of this curve. I'm going to curve it inward just a little bit. So right now, it's kind of like, it looks a little bit more like the, kind of like the devil emoji or the little horn guy emoji. But I'm going to connect it. Okay, now I'm running out of room, so be mindful. And I'm going to do a shape here. Now this looks like a lot, but we just made a 3D, a very fast 3D circle. So this would be inside of where the tire would go. This is going to be where the rope's going to go. So for my rope, I'm going to draw an oval. Now for me, guys, I'm going to fill this in so that way we can see my oval. Okay? There's my oval. And I'm going to draw two rectangles all the way over up my tree. Right above my tree. I'm not going to leave it just flat. I'm going to cap them to do that little C shape because that's the rope going over it. Now I have a tire swing. Now, yesterday we talked about circle animals. So maybe in this tree, I have friends who live with me or I have friends that like to visit because maybe I'm kind of a, Cinder uh, a Disney princess. I'm gonna draw my circle head, my body. I'm gonna do circle ears. So can you guess which animal I am drawing? I am drawing a squirrel. He's really cute. Now I gotta do really small eyes and whiskers on him because um, I didn't have a lot of room. And maybe I'll draw the bird over here. And the bird, once again, was a big circle body with a circle head with a pointed beak of a triangle. And if we're doing our bird wings kind of pointing down, we just add an extra line to it. And we add a triangle pointing towards the booty at the bottom. Okay? Pointing towards the bottom. 
Um, but let's say um, this is for in my backyard and I want my dog to visit me, okay? So if I'm gonna have my dog visit me, circle head, circle body, letter W for the front paws, those oval paws on either side. We talked about our teardrop shapes going down like the letter U and then curling it back up to the head. I got my eyes going. We talked about doing oval noses more for dogs because heart shapes are for cats. Our bent letter W for our mouse. Some whiskers because dogs do have whiskers too. And our tails. Okay, so that's my little doggy again. So I kind of have a whole bunch going on right here. I'm starting to set up. So my plan moving forward until I get a request is maybe doing things that we can kind of keep building onto each other. So right now we have a uh, treehouse we have our animals that can hang out maybe we'll talk a little bit more about tire swings and rope ladders um we do have that too if i want to i can always add siding to this so maybe if we want to add something really fun to do that i'm going to add straight lines kind of like wood paneling or sidings so notice how i'm jumping over the windows as my line goes through jump over the window jump over the window and then here i'm going to follow this top line again so i'm going to bend it Oop, jump the door. Oop, jump over the door. Oop, jump over the door. So now I have that. We can also make this a little bit more homey by doing some shingles. I love cottages, like gingerbread houses. So if I had a tree house, I would make cottages style. Well, friends, you know what I just realized? I forgot something. Do you want to know what I forgot? I forgot to put the sports on my tree house so it doesn't fall through. That would be really bad, right? right in a tree house, and then all of a sudden it just falls because I didn't put the supports on it. That's not good planning. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this up and we'll get in those supports really quickly. Okay, it's really quick supports. I'm gonna take these two lines over here. See how this extended past the tree? One, two. One, two. Oh, now we're safe. Now it's anchored into the into the tree house, okay? So right there, friends, we kind of just made a tree house really quickly. Like I said, the hardest part about this tree house um, is usually where people get goofed up is just building this structure. And it is really hard. This is something definitely new for a lot of young artists. So if, let's go, over, I'm just gonna go over the part one more time, um, again, and then we'll kind of move forward from there. So tree house. I start with a square. From there I built my, I bent my lines out. So they are going upward and diagonal. One, two, two, two Miss Pat and two. Then I connect my lines. Okay. I draw a triangle right above it. I'm bringing that line back to about here, but this is gonna come up as a diagonal too, so if you wanna draw that diagonal first, that's fine. So this is my house sitting down. To do a door, I'm following these lines to get my door up, but I'm following this line to create the top of my door, okay? Your drawing perspective. Then I draw my windows, however I'd like. I'm a big fan of these windows. I didn't show you guys this window, but I like it. Okay. And from there, we drew our platform way out. We drew it to go back in. So two diagonal lines inward. Okay, so it's not going straight back. It's going in towards the house. Just slightly in towards the house. Our platform needed a little bit of a line down. See how we're starting to build it? Okay, so that was it really, really fast, guys. I know that sometimes this can be challenging, and I know my house looks a little bit wonky after I get to look at it straight up. So just kind of keep practicing those things. Just go back over it over and over and over again. Um, once again, this video um, was inspired by Art Kids um, Art.
Art for Kids Hub. It's on YouTube. They do um, a very similar one, if not almost exactly the same. Um, I added a little bit of my own tw tw um, tips and tricks, but of course they are a great, great resource, okay? So please, please, please give them major props too for this, but I'm hoping as we move forward, I'm going to keep adding things. It looks like our background playground drawing um, over the next few days unless I get a request. So if you have any requests, please let me know. You can um, you can comment on this video or you can message me if there's something your kiddos at home really want to learn how to draw. Um, have a good rest of your Tuesday, guys. Bye.